Hi, I am Denju. I am Darshana. We are OIT trainers from BMX Academy, Mavram branch. As a part of our listening week, today we are here to give you some tips on how to tackle your listening part C. Most of the students face difficulty in identifying the keywords and locate the correct option. Today we are going to discuss part C, sample test 1, taken from our OIT official website, Raysand. So now look, uh, let's look on to the extract one, questions 31 to 36. You hear an interview with a cardiologist called Dr. Jake Robson, who is an expert on Kagis disease. Okay, now let's look on to the question. Question number 31. Why does uh, Dr. Robson regard Kagis as a neglected disease? So the options are A, because of the social group it mainly affects B, because of the patients often don't realize they are infected because its impact is severe in a relatively small number of cases. So now I will read the script. Kegis is caused by a parasite called Typhanosoma cruzi. Most sufferers become infected when they are bitten by an insect commonly known as kissing bugs which carries the parasite. People often don't realize they have been bitten and during the initial phase of infection, symptoms are normally mild or absent. 70% of those infected never develop complications. For the other 30%, the disease tends to remain uh, silent for a long time, often 30 years, but it eventually enters a chronic phase characterized by serious cardiac digestive system and neurological disorders. About 7 million people worldwide are thought to have Kegis, but it attracts relatively little publicity or funding for research. This indifference is largely down its being primarily a disease of marginalized community in Latin America where it is endemic. You need resources to force significant action. So now look, uh, you look on the options. You can omit option C. Option B is because patients often don't realize they are infected. And option, is, option A is because of the social groups it mainly affects. The key word here is neglected disease. So based on that you need to identify which is the correct option. So when you listen to the audio you noted that the speaker is uh, giving emphasis to the word the this indifference, right? Have you noticed it? Okay. Okay. Can anyone tell which is the correct option? Why it is called a neglected disease? Oh, it, area. Uh, it is already affected to a Endemic. particular area uh, in Latin America. So, which is the correct option? Option A, because of the social disease, mainly affected. Okay, correct. Is it clear for all of you? Yes. yes. Mm, the next question. Okay, next question. Dr. Robinson says the concern over cages in the USA are the result of options a rise in number of people at risk of being infected with the disease. Option B, a greater awareness of how many people there have the disease. Option C, an increased prevalence of the insect which carries the disease. The key word here is concern. Okay. Now I will read the script. Yes, the insect carrying the parasite actually is actually endemic to the southern US states since 1955. However, no more than 30 people have been bitten and infected while in the USA. The alarming thing though it is that become apparent that large number of the first generation and some second generation immigrants from latin america carry cages around three lakhs these people won't infect others apart from contagiously and possibly through blood transfusion but a significant portion end up chronically ill so the writer is uh, telling the exact number of people that have been infected with this disease. So let's move on to the options. First is a, a rise in number of the people at risk of being infected with the disease. Second is a greater awareness of how many people there have the disease. Option C, an increased prevalence of the insect which carries the disease. We can omit option C. 
he says that the large number of first generation and some second generation immigrants from Latin America carry what this Kegas disease around 3 lakhs. So, which will be the option B? B. Ah, because he has the awareness of how many people are being infected with this disease. So, option B is the correct answer. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Question 33. A patient called Marisol recently asked Dr. Robinson to test her for Kegas because options A. She was worried about the health of any children she might give birth to. Option B. She wanted to know whether it was safe for her to donate blood. Option C. She thought she had symptoms associated with the disease. Okay, now I'll read the script. Well, this year, a Bolivian woman, let's call her Marisol, asked me if she could be tested for Kegas. She is long-term U.S. resident, but she did recently been a vaccination involved and at one point had felt unwell. This often occurs with changes in diet and living conditions. And that's what Marisol assumed was the cause. She did actually been planning to donate blood in Bolivia but changed her mind at the last minute. So have you noticed the points? Ironically, if she had gone ahead, the screening would have detected Kegas. Hearing from relatives that Kegas can be transmitted congenitally was what prompted Marison, Marisol to come to my clinic. She and her partner wanted to start a family and she was scared that she might pass the parasite on. Test then showed that she did indeed have intermediate stage Kegas. So what are the points you noticed here? We have noticed that uh, she has a plan. She was planning to donate blood, and later she had changed her mind due to, uh, hearing from her relatives that the Kegas can be transmitted how by birth itself. So which will be the option? Op option A. She was worried about the health of any children she might give birth to. Very good. So is it clear for all of you? Yes. Okay. So in part C, you know that your questions and options are too lengthy. So it is important for you to interrupt and paraphrase what you hear. Okay. So hope this was a fruitful session for all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.